Hey everyone, Sheldon here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to reinforce paper. Now, reinforcing paper isn't completely necessary when you're building stuff out of paper, but it does help when you have certain parts that might be going under more pressure in certain areas. For example, this is the trigger for the paper single shot pistol, and when you pull this trigger, it's going to be going under pressure and it's actually always going to be going under pressure because it's constantly being pushed on the hammer right there, which means everything needs to be reinforced. That is why I put a paper clip reinforcement in here going down this part and also up there. It takes a little bit longer to reinforce parts, but it's easier than, you know, just remaking them entirely. So to start off, I have four of these rectangular pieces that I'm going to be creating somewhat of a block using these. They are 16 layers thick and 250 thousandths of an inch in this direction and 750 thousandths of an inch in this direction. So assuming this piece that I'm going to be making is going to go under a lot of pressure, you want to make sure you're building it in a certain orientation that the layers aren't just going to peel off. The way I like to think about it is by using a book. This is just a textbook, and if the layers are stacked up this direction, just like they are in a typical book, if the force is going this direction, it's basically just going to go in between these layers and tear the layers off. But if you have the book like this, and you apply a force this direction, it's just going to stay there. None of the layers are going to tear off because they're in this orientation. Since these pieces are 250 thousandths of an inch thick, that means half of it is going to be 125 thousandths of an inch thick. So I just drew a line right there. So that is halfway. So what this is going to do is reinforce the paper in this direction to prevent it from bending at all this way. So I have this jumbo size paper clip here, and you can use pretty much any type of metal or something like that to reinforce the part that you're making. I found that jumbo paper clips seem to work pretty well. So I'm measuring it using the dial calipers right now, and it seems to be about 38 thousandths of an inch thick. So that means I'm going to have to cut half of 38 thousandths of an inch off of each side of this line. So 0.038 divided by 2 gives us 19 thousandths of an inch. 19 thousandths like that, that means 19 thousandths from this line that the jumbo size paper clip is going to go on, 19 thousandths over from that line. So this isn't to scale, but it's just showing you sort of how it would be. This is 19 thousandths of an inch right there. So you would basically put that on the line right there and make a little mark where this area contacts and just draw a line straight down. Now you don't necessarily have to be that accurate because it's probably going to get filled up with super glue and baking soda anyway. So you can pretty much estimate how much you need to cut off of each side of the line here. So I'm going to do that right now. Now I didn't cut all the way through because 16 layers is about 70 thousandths of an inch thick, which means this paper clip, this jumbo size paper clip, will not need to go all the way down. We only want half of the paper clip to basically be below this surface here, because another piece is going to go over it like this and take up the rest of the space that the paper clip needs to fit in. So only 19 thousandths of an inch of paper material needs to be peeled off the center area of this. So since it's already cut down a little bit, all you need to do is start peeling this up. All right, so like I said, you don't really need to be super, super accurate because, you know, all of this is pretty much going to be internal. So you can reshape the outside whenever you need to. But this is just going to go right there. I'm leaving a little bit of extra space for the outside to fill up with super glue and baking soda. That will keep everything in place. So now I'm going to cut the center out of another one just like this. Alright, here they are, right here, just like that. So 
I can basically take this paper clip and hold it here and take the other piece put it over just like that and as you can see there should be enough space for everything to be flat and compressed because there's enough space for the paper clip to fit inside all right so now I'm going to cut just a little bit of this paper clip off as you can see just like that and if you can't cut it then you just take pliers and bend it back and forth and it will just snap right off so all right so now you can take your paper clip segment and use some sandpaper or a sanding sponge or something like that and make the surface a little bit more rough and this will make the glue bond better all right so I have my super glue here and all I need to do is glue this paper clip segment in this little groove right here. So I'm just going to apply some super glue and lay the paper clip segment inside of the groove. Just like that. Now if everything was done correctly, half of the diameter of this paper clip should be above the surface. Now it's going to be very hard to see that on camera, but if you just look closely at it, you will definitely be able to see that a little bit of the paper clip is going above the actual paper surface. And now the other side is going to take up the rest of that space, as you can see, the other half of it. Alright, so there's a little bit of a gap on the side of the paper clip that I left there, so we'd be able to fill it up with super glue and baking soda, so just put a little bit of super glue along the side and take your baking soda and sprinkle it over that area just like that alright now that's all filled up so we can take the other side and glue it on there just like that make sure the channel that you cut out is on the inside so it goes over the paper clip and make sure you compress the layers together so here it is. As you can see, the paper clip is still not completely flush with the surface. Obviously, that needs to be filed down and everything else needs to be smooth. So now we can basically just glue this piece on here and the other side on, well, the other side, just like that. So that's if you want the paper clip to be centered between everything. If you don't really care if it's centered or not, then you know you can glue it like that. Or if you want to do more reinforcements, you can cut a groove out of that area right there, cut a groove out of this area right here, and do the same thing with a paper clip, just like that. But for this piece in particular, it doesn't really need to be super, super strong, so I'm just going to glue these other pieces on there. Now that everything is glued together and compressed like that, we get to even out the surface and fill up all of the low spots. Now, if you would like to see a very in-depth explanation with polishing paper, then be sure to check that video out. It will be linked in the description as well. So basically, apply some super glue in the low spots, just like this, and take the baking soda and sprinkle it over. And it's filling it up, just like that. So do it on the other side as well. So now you can just file down all of the spots that are filled up, just like this. You can also start filing down the paper clip, the excess paper clip that is probably going to be coming out of the end of this block of paper. So just work your way around this entire thing, finishing it off and filing it smooth. Alright, before I finish everything off completely, there is another type of reinforcement I'm going to do to this, just to make it even more strong. Alright, so what I just did was I took this 1 16th inch drill and I just drilled straight through this part over here. Now the paper clip, remember, is in the center of this piece. So that is why this is drilled over here to the side so it doesn't interfere. So this in the stacked up direction is about, you know, it's close to 250 thousandths of an inch thick. So all I'm going to do is take a strip that is 250 thousandths of an inch thick or wide and wrap it around a little piece of a paper clip here. 
because this paper clip is smaller in diameter than the drill I used to go through this. As you can see, it just moves around like this. So that's why we're going to wrap this around. So you just make the surface rough again using some sandpaper just so it bonds a little bit better. And take your strip and super glue because that's pretty much only what's going to bond to this paper clip and basically just start wrapping it around. There it is, wrapped around the paper clip right there, so it should fit in here pretty nicely. And yes it does. So now we can just trim off the excess and pretty much just glue this piece inside of this hole. Alright, so now we can just file down the excess until it's flush with the actual paper surface and see what it looks like. So everything is nice and smooth and I also polished it just like I did in the polishing paper video so be sure to check that out once again if you would like to know how to do that. So as you can see there's that cross pin right there and there's also you know the reinforcement paper clip piece that goes through the entire thing. So you could do this cross pin type thing probably three times on each side and that would take a really long time but it would be very very strong and I guarantee this piece will last for a very long time. It's similar to how houses are constructed and you know buildings and stuff like that. The rebar and all that stuff. This is essentially the same thing, just a small scale and different materials. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very, very strong. It will be able to withstand pressure. I might add more reinforcements because I am actually going to use this or at least a piece similar to it for a project later in the future. So you guys will see that hopefully pretty soon. So that's the basics of reinforcing paper. It will make these pieces a lot stronger and a lot more dense, I guess you could say, and they will be able to withstand pressure for a long period of time. Here's another example of a reinforced piece. As you can see, this is the hammer strut for the paper M1911, and since pressure is always going to be pushed up this direction, I needed to put a paper clip reinforcement inside of there, and this is all filled up with some super glue and baking soda as well, so this piece is really strong. Just a little tip, if you ever feel like the parts that you're constructing aren't going to last very long or you think something could potentially break, then be sure to reinforce it. Even though it might not break, it's better to just have a really strong, reliable piece at first that you don't ever have to replace. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you would like to see the latest updates. And I will see you guys in the next video.